Hi guys, it's Crystal City Girl Homestead. We're back for dinner. So I'm going to do a catchy name today. Dinner in a 9 by 13. <laughs> Anyways, if you've never been here, hope you enjoy the videos. You can like, share, and subscribe. And for those of you that have been with me, let's keep going down this road. You guys are, you guys are amazing. So I'm going to do burgers and fries because it's really cold outside. And I would like to think about summer seems like so far away it's like in the low 20s here it's cold and it's wet out because it's been snowing you know it's beautiful <laughs> kidding so i'm going to spray my 9 by 13 pan first and then i cut up a bunch of potatoes and the reason you're getting some potato recipes from me right now is that all my potatoes are eyeing out <laughs> and i need to get them used up these ones were really badly eyed out so they're still firm so you can use them so I want to get them used up so I don't waste them I'm gonna put some olive oil in there I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder ho, 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 ho. and a little bit of paprika heck yeah Doesn't like going through the holes, I guess. I know I still got a plastic container full of, of potatoes, and I'm like, because I really, really don't need to can anymore, and I've got a whole bunch dehydrated, so I really don't need to do that. So we'll use them up. What better way to do it than to use them up, right? Right. So now I'm going to pour those in the bottom of my 9 by 13 pan. Beautiful. And we're going to spread them out. Now, I'm going to use, let's move you back here so you can see a little bit more what I'm doing. I'm put that right there. I'm going to put some sliced up red onions on top of that. This is just me trying to be creative, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's hope everything works good. <laughs> All right, so now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to arrange so you can see everything. All right. I'm going to take my burgers. I'm going to pull them out of here. These are the ones I think we made up of our own. Because it says December, so I think it is. Alrighty. Now before I put them on top of that, what I want to do is dry my fingers real quick here. And I want to use my hamburger seasoning. If you need that recipe, it's in one of the videos, but if you really want it, I can go back and search and find it for you. And then I'm going to put them on top of the potatoes. I didn't forget what I was going to say. I was just concentrating. Sorry. <laughs> And then I'm going to put a little bit more of my sauce on, or spice on there. This spice, you guys, actually is killer good on hamburgers. All right. Let's put the lid on that so I don't accidentally spill it. That wouldn't be good. There's my ham, handmade hamburger buns over there. Ho, 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 ho. So now we're going to take the tin foil. Got the oven preheated to 350, and I'm gonna cook these for an hour. And then when they're done, I'll be back. Alrighty, so I got to thinking. I have some carrots that I need to get used up too. So what I did is I've got some butter melting in my pan here. I don't have any measurements or anything like that for it, but and I have maybe I don't know. 
quarter of a cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to throw my carrots in there too. Because who doesn't like sweet carrots? Tom loves carrots, so it doesn't matter how you cook them. <laughs> I think carrots is one of his favorite, favorite um, vegetables, actually. So now since those, the other stuff takes an hour to do, I'm just going to cook these on low until they're done. So we're going to have sweet carrots along with it. So we'll be back for dinner. Alrighty, so I'm back. Now the only thing we got to do is melt the cheese on the hamburgers. So I'm going to put the cheese on. Throw it back in the oven till it melts, and then I'll bring you back and bring you to the table. Alrighty, there's Tom's dinner. Look at that. What you trying first, Thomas? Try the potatoes. I knew that was going to happen. Tom's a potato freak. Hmm. <laughs> there's other stuff to try, too. <laughs> Two bite roll. Oh, okay. Now the carrots. I take more bites at the same time than that. <laughs> How's the carrots? Oh, I good. I might have to have a third bite rule on that one. <laughs> now try your baked cheeseburger. We're calling it cooking in a 9 by 13. Cooking in a 9 by 13? <laughs> really? Homemade buns and all. See if your little mouth can get over it. <laughs> what you think? I think it requires another bite. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That was two more bites. Well, I didn't use that pickle. Oh. <laughs> So what do you think? I had to get a bite of the pickle to have that little extra zing. Zing, yeah. So how was everything? Pretty yummy. You aren't even looking at us. Pretty You're just yummy. looking at your food. No, I didn't <laughs> eat myself. Dinner fit for a king. Always fit for a king. Goodbye, Tom. Goodbye, Tom. Oh, you got that live tomorrow. Ooh. Peach muffins. Yeah. Nobody wants to vote for brownies. I know. My belly wanted brownies, but I got peach instead. Well, you've got brownies anyway. Yeah, you may be brownies. I remember that. Yeah, you're spoiled. Goodbye, Tom. Goodbye, Tom. You guys have a blessed night.